Hello, welcome to AGA CAD. In this video, I will introduce you how to connect your distributed sprinkler heads into one hydraulic system in Autodesk Revit using Smart Sprinkler Solution. So, firstly, here we have our distributed uh, sprinkler heads in our spaces, and we want to connect uh, these uh, sprink sprinkler heads into uh, the distribution pipe and to connect all the system correctly. Uh, firstly, what we have to do is to create some uh, types of the pipe that defines the distribution pipe and uh, it should have uh, some routing preferences inside it. Also, we have to create uh, the range pipe and the sprinkler pipe. After this uh, creation, we're going to the smart sprinkler solution and uh, we will use sprinkler pipe routing configuration to config all the, all the routing preferences here. Firstly, what we have to do is to define uh, what kind of connection we will use for upright and for pendant sprinklers. Uh, here we have the images that uh, we can double click and uh, we can find the the most popular connections here uh, and uh, we can use any of it of them uh, also we can define the elevation of upright uh, range pipe also for uh, the pendant range pipe so that means the, the 3000 millimeters so it's three meters here uh, the second thing here is uh, the side offset and the vertical offset that is uh, marked on a on an image and that means uh, that means uh, how far the sprinkler will be from uh, from the pipe. Also, we have the uh, functionality to add separate sprinkler if the distance is less. Uh, that means that uh, this uh, configuration adds separate pipe to a sprinkler if the distance between main row and the sprinkler is less than uh, entry distance. Also, we can. Uh, connect or not to connect uh, to a tap or a fitting uh, here uh, we can press uh, this button and uh, that allows you to connect sprinkler directly to tap or, or a fitting for example it's it's like a blaze master fittings if uh, we will go further here we have the standard uh, standard range pipe diameter and uh, the standard distribution pipe diameter uh, these functionalities allows you to choose from uh, predefined overall system range pipe diameter and distribution pipe diameter standards. These standards define uh, rules for system calculation, for example, diameter, maximum possible sprinkler or range pipe, uh, one diameter, etc. Uh, you can define your own standards by creating a folder the standard name and modifying txt files inside these folders. Uh, our created uh, folders are placed uh, in a uh, program files, tools for Revit, uh, smart sprinklers uh, folder and uh, you could find these uh, standards here and you could uh, use them as a, to know how to, how to write your own uh, standards. And uh, we have created uh, the ISO standard, also AS, that stands for Australia. So we have the standards here also. Uh, here we have to define uh, how, how the sprinklers will be connected into a system. And firstly, we have to identify what connection will be uh, between the sprinkler head and uh, between the first pipe. So uh we call this sprinkler head adapter and uh, we could use uh any time of adopt any kind of adapter that we have loaded into the project uh also we have to define the pipe types for example for sprinkler as i said before we have to have a sprinkler pipe uh for the range pipe we have to have the range pipe and for distribution we have to have the distribution pipe the next thing is uh, the sprinkler pipe diameter. It's uh, the diameter of this uh, pipe. And uh, you could choose from all the diameters that are loaded into the family. Into the family type. And uh, the next thing is a maximum 
uh, distances H, O, and D, O. That means uh, uh, that is uh, the distances divided by sprinkler pipe diameter, and it shows uh, the coefficient of how many diameters of pipe uh, you can fit between pipes. So I said that it's free. Uh, the next thing what I want to speak about is the range pipe uh, split type. You can use the coefficient one or the distance. The distance means that uh, I am writing the one meter and uh, it will split the pipe after one meter from the beginning of the pipe. Uh, and if I will use the coefficient, for example, I will use not 0.5, that means that I will split that pipe in the middle of it. The same is the same thing is used for distribution pipe splitting. And uh, the last thing uh, on this dialog block that I want to uh, to show you is the main line. We have to define w w which which uh, line is the main, or both are the main lines. Uh, so I could use the separate range pipe for pendant and for upright sprinkler or I use uh, one pipe for them both to feed them both and uh, uh, only the connections uh, will be different uh, uh, that uh, in, in a place of upright uh, range pipe or in a place of a pendant uh, range pipe. So firstly I will show you the separate range pipe and uh, afterwards I will show you um, one of these ones, yeah. Okay, I made my configurations and I go to my project. I use uh, connect sprinklers uh, to distribution pipe. I have to define only one sprinkler and it will find all the sprinklers that are uh, inserted into this space or I could use uh, several sprinklers so only these sprinklers will be connected to the distribution line. So let's go further, and as you see, on real time, they they are creating the pipes, the roots, they insert uh, the fittings, and uh, many things uh, are doing here. Here, the caps, uh, the splitting points, uh, as I said before. So here we have the splitting points. Here we have the routing preferences that we defined. Here also in the in the endings we have caps and so many more. So, but I want to show you the next possibility. Uh, if I change uh, the main line, for example, in place of pendant range pipe, and again I will connect uh, the sprinklers to the distribution line. As you see, only one pipe is going here, and the second pipe will connect uh, somehow uh, the, the pendant uh, pendant pipe with the pendant sprinkler. So, and again, again, you can see how how fast uh, and how good all the fittings are inserted into the project. As you see, as we defined to connect into this pipe, to connect this pipe. So it's really useful and it's really, really good. Uh, the the one thing that we missed is the uh, is the fittings here. For example, I will I could use any pipe here. Uh, for example, I will use standard here. I will use uh, Again, I could change uh, all the things here, the distribution pipe, I will use standard one, okay, and I will insert the fittings, and it splits again the pipe, and, uh, and as you see, it inserts the fittings here. The next thing what I want to show you is to how to connect uh, our sprinklers if we have new ones here is this okay yeah it's it's kind of okay so i could use this sprinkler and i could use uh, connect sprinkler to range pipe functionality 
and uh, I will show the range pipe and the, the sprinkler will be connected into. Also, I could use the other functionality to connect sprinklers uh, to selected pipe. Uh, for example, I will use this one and it connects uh, it connects like this. So, thank you for watching this video.